So are you wondering how much do you need to save for a down payment when you are buying your home in the Kansas City area? Are you wondering, are you wondering, are you wondering? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in this video because you know we get questions all the time from people who are looking to buy their next house around throughout the greater Kansas City area and frankly, even some people from all around the country because, because of our referral program. And they are wondering how much do they need to have to buy a home or their dream home? Well, I have that conversation with clients all the time, so I thought I'd let you all know up front. So whenever you do, give me a call. We can get a little bit more into the depth of the real estate side of it on what exactly would be a good fit for you and for your family. That's exactly what we're gonna talk about in this video, and we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything that is to know about living in Kansas City and the surrounding areas, well, you're in the right place. Make sure that you subscribe below, tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to learn about the current market in the Kansas City area and the surrounding areas. My name is Blau and when I am not on reality TV, well, I'm all about lifestyle in Kansas City and that includes real estate right here in this beautiful city of Kansas City and its surrounding areas. I'm talking about living, breathing real estate. I get texts, I get DMs like every single day from people like you looking to make uh, their move to Kansas City and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in 10 days from now or you're looking to move 100 days from now, hey, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Kansas City. I'm going to Kansas City. Hey. So, all right, vlog viewers, it's your favorite vlogger here. And today we're talking about saving for a down payment on your first home or your dream home. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh boy, not this again. Hey, bear with me because this is actually really important stuff. So, plus, I promise to make it as painless as possible with some bad puns and maybe some corny jokes along the way. So you might have heard that you need to save up a ton of money for a down payment, like 20% or more. But guess what? That's just a myth. It's just a myth. In fact, the median down payment today is only 14%. And if you're a first time home buyer, it's even lower, 6%. Can you believe it? It's like the home buying industry is trying to give us a break or something. Hey, don't tell nobody. Actually, I want you to tell everybody. But wait, there's more. It gets even better. There are tons of options out there that can help you save for down payment. There are over 2,000 home buyer assistant programs, and most of them are designed to help with down payments. It's like they're saying, hey, you over there, we know you're trying to save for a down payment. I know that could be tough. So here's a little extra help to help you get on your way to home ownership. I'm like, thank you, I appreciate it. Plus, there are all kind of loan types like VHA loans that require down payments like 3.5%, VA, USDA loans that you don't even have to put a down payment required for qualified applicants. It's like they're saying, hey, you over there, we know you're just starting out and you don't have a ton of money saved up yet. No worries, we got you covered. So don't let the myth of 20% down payment hold you back. Do your homework, connect with a trusted lender, and explore your options. And remember, if you want to purchase a home this year, I'm here to help. That's what I'm here for. Hey, let's make it happen. You don't want to be stuck renting forever, right? Do you? I mean, do you? That's like being stuck in a never-ending game of Monopoly and having to pass go every single time. Trust me, you don't want to end up like that, still trying to save up for that darn down payment. But with the right resources and a little bit of determination, we can make it happen. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. But before we dive into all the ways you can save for your down payment, let's talk about why it's important to save up in the first place. Sure, it could be tempting to just go for a loan with a lower down payment, but a larger down payment can actually save you tons of money in the long run. When you have a larger down payment, 
you can often get a lower interest rate on your mortgage. I mean, who wants a lower interest rate? I do, I do, I do. Which can save you thousands of dollars over the life of your loan. Plus, a larger down payment can also help you avoid paying for private mortgage insurance. I'm just saying. And that's a whole extra fee that, you know, a lot of lenders require if you don't have a big enough down payment. So if you can avoid it, by all means. So now that we talked about the importance of saving for a down payment, let's get into the nitty gritty of how to actually do it. Well, one of the most obvious ways is just start setting aside some money each month, putting some money to a side. Even if it's just a small amount, it can really add up over time. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can try to cut back on some of your expenses to free up even more money for saving. So, hey, if you're in the Kansas City area, that means a little less shopping down at the Country Club Plaza. Hey, somebody please tell my wife that, please. But trust me, it'll be worth it in the long while if you do do that, all right? Because you can help you buy your dream home. Another option is to see if you're eligible for any down payment assistance uh, program. As I mentioned earlier, there are over 2,000 programs available in the United States, and they are designed to help people just like you save for their down payment. Some of these programs are ran by the government. Who would have thought? While others are run by non-for-profit organizations or even employers, they can offer things like grants, loans, or even tax credits to help you save up for your down payment. It's definitely worth checking it out because, hey, every little bit helps when you're trying to save up for a large sum of money. You can also consider asking friends or family members for help. Please help me, please. Now I know this might not be, this might be a little awkward, but hey, if you have someone in your life, family members, friends, loved ones, and they're willing to help, it could be a great way to get a little boost for your down payment. Just saying. Just make sure you're set clear terms and expectations and be prepared to pay them back if necessary. Hey, everybody wants to be paid back. And finally, you can try to increase your income to help you save for your down payment faster. This could mean taking on, I don't know, a little part-time job on a side or even starting a little side hustle. I know it sounds like a little, lot of hard work maybe, or a little bit, but hey, it'll be well worth it in the end. You'll be able to buy your home or your, even your dream home. So there you have it, folks. Some tips and tricks, saving for your down payment. And it might seem like a daunting task, but with a little bit of planning and some hard work, you can make it happen. And remember, the main thing is whether you're looking to move in 10 days from now or 100 days from now, hey, Give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Kansas City. Hey, that's what I'm here for, I'm here to help. Let's make it happen. And until next time, folks, well, I hope to show you around town.